Here at the Extreme Channel, one of my favorite and probably one of the most ignorant comments I get is, bro, because remember, I'm everybody's bro. You have too much money. Ooh, burn. Hey guys, I'm Mr. X. Thanks for tuning into my channel. What does a nerd with too much money do? He buys too much comic-related crap like these two Hulk statues. Sitting in front of me are two one-fourth scale gray Kirby Hulk statues. Now, if you watched the channel before, you know I've actually done videos on each of these pieces individually. The one on my left with the shirt is by Sideshow Collectibles. The one on my right, or the skins, that's how we'll label them today, shirts and skins, is a custom piece, which means it was a private unlicensed commission. As I've said, I've done in-depth reviews on both pieces, so go ahead and check out those videos. But today, we're gonna do what I call an extrumble, or an extreme rumble. That's right, that's where we compare and contrast these statues and see if one is better than the other. Because why in the world would anybody need two statues so similar? Must be somebody who has too much money. And for the record, I don't have too much money. I spend it all on crap. Now, before we dive into this, we're really close to this milestone right here. As a thank you to you guys, we're giving away these two exclusive Mortal Kombat statues from Pop Culture Shock Toys. We've already given away this Sub-Zero. It's being shipped to the winner of the 15,000 sub giveaway. Up for grabs at 17,500 subs is this exclusive Scorpion statue. First thing you need to do is make sure you've liked this video, you subscribe to the channel, and you've hit that bell notification. Second thing is we are going to pick random videos. This is one of those random videos and insert this segment somewhere. You need to make sure you comment on that video. We are going to pick a random comment from one of said videos and you will be the winner of this scorpion statue. All right, guys. So if you've seen these videos before, I'll have a link for other extremal videos at the end. But this is where we take a look at each piece. We look at different characteristics like concept, design, paint, sculpt, and we pick a winner in each category. And at the end, we pick an overall winner. So that's what we're going to do today. And we're actually going to add a few new categories because honestly, there's some obvious differences here, but there's a hell of a lot of similarities as well. But let's start with the concept of each piece because there are some glaring differentiations. Now they are both sitting on what is a rock or concrete cement type base. The shirt one or the one by Sideshow Collectibles has some other rubble below, which I like. It adds a little bit more faith. It adds a little bit more flavor, adds a little bit more flair, where the skin one or custom one is just plain. Now, as you move up, Sideshow's one is actually walking, so he's in the middle of an action. The other one's more of a museum pose. However, there's not a lot of dynamic action to either of them. I don't wanna say it's boring because with Hulk, his sheer presence alone is kind of overpowering. But I think Sideshow's tells a little bit more of a story. I said this in the review, you always remember the Hulk kind of wandering, trying to get away from people, and I think it tells that story. But the skin one or custom one also tells the story of, hey, I'm a badass, I'm Hulk, I'm huge, I'm scary, come get me. And then as you move up, they have the classic Neanderthalic Kirby-like portrait. And if this is your first time watching one of these videos and you're wondering why Hulk is gray, go check out the individual reviews of these videos and that'll explain it a little bit more. So the concepts, very similar and very different at the same time. Now I think what gives Sideshow the edge on this one is that they added a few more things to the base, kind of telling more of a story that he destroyed some other things. And I really like the fact that he's walking, kind of that lumbering aspect that tells the true story of the original Hulk, which is what I consider the gray Kirby to be. So I think for those reasons, concept actually goes to Sideshow on this piece. They are the winner. Now we're going to go into design. Now both are pretty simplistic when it comes to assembly. They have a base and then the rest of it's all one piece, but there are some noticeable differences. So first, as you can see, if you look right here at the pants, the skins one is actually sculpted. So the pants are made out of resin or polystone or a mix of those where the Sideshow one is actually fabric or what we call mixed media. Now, normally I prefer sculpted on my statues. However, I don't think the fabric is a huge negative on this one. And they actually offered a shirt on this exclusive statue, which is something you rarely see on a Hulk. And I talked about this in the review. I like how it differentiates it from other pieces. Another noticeable difference, while this Hulk right here does not have switch out options, the portrait comes off because the original green version did have switch out options and they casted it the same. So unfortunately that leaves a nasty seam line you can see right here. Where the skin one has no seam line, it's all one piece. Definitely a huge pro for that. Now the other thing here that's kind of obvious, glaringly obvious, 
is the size. They're both supposedly one fourth scale where they've taken Hulk and shrunken him down four times smaller than his original version. Now with these two right here, it's quite obvious one is either too big or one is too small. Now, first of all, if one of them is wrong, it's always better to be too big. That's what she said. <laughs> but if you recall, we did the measurements on this piece and he's considerably smaller, especially if you put other premium formats from Sideshow Collectibles next to him. Take a look at him next to Sideshow Spider-Man Comic Cat, which is a little bit overscaled, but still the difference is pretty glaring. It's pretty obvious that the skins one is accurately scaled while this guy is underscaled. Since I like sculpted clothes better, since the size is accurate on this and since it has no seam line, the clear winner for design is the Custom Hulk. Now paint and sculpt, we're gonna combine these two categories and then we're actually gonna break it down into subcategories looking at the base, the body of the Hulk, and the portrait. So first let's check out the bases here. If you, if you remember during the review, I was kind of upset with the Sideshow base. It looks like a mess of crap and I think it's a combination of both the paint and the sculpt. Keep in mind, it's a much older piece, but we're not taking that into consideration. While the custom piece is a lot more boring, I think the paint and sculpt is refined quite a bit better. It looks like actual real rock, which is the goal. It doesn't look as messy, even though it's very plain. So I think specifically focusing on paint and sculpt, the sculpt, the winner for the bases, is the custom Hulk. Now looking at the bodies, one tough thing we're gonna have right here, as you see, one has a shirt, one does not. So that obviously covers up a lot of the anatomy. However, the Sideshow, the collector's version, didn't have a shirt. However, if you look at certain things, like look at the arms here. Now, now the Sideshow is noticeably a darker gray, and I kind of like that. It's more of an art direction choice, but also if you look close at the sculpt, like on the arms here, you actually see almost like some dried skin. It looks more natural, more real, where the custom one is very smooth, you know, almost perfection. It's more like a comic book snap than a realistic version of him. The custom one had overemphasized hands. The hands are twice the size of the head, where that's not the case with Sideshow. And I like those features in Hulk. But again, as you see, it's very smooth. Both are sculpted really well. If you look at the anatomy and the veins and things of that nature. But seriously, I just like the realism of Sideshow better. The darker parts on the elbows here, you can check that out. How I said the skin looks more natural. So I think the paint and sculpt on the body actually goes to Sideshow. Portrait here is incredibly tough. Both very similar with slight twists to them. You see that the custom one has more of a dome style head. His head's a little bit larger. His eyebrows are right above his eyes don't indent as much. His ears aren't clearly as defined either. Eyes are pretty negligible. I like the teeth on the Sideshow one much better. I think they, they definitely knock that a little bit more out of the park. And I think there's a little bit more differentiation in the hair. But I'm surprisingly actually leaning more towards the Sideshow when it comes to the portrait of the piece. So I think for paint and sculpt on the portrait, it actually goes to Sideshow. Now I wanna give a little disclaimer. I think I actually ranked the paint and sculpt on this piece higher than I did on this piece when I did the reviews. Part of that is because of the sculpted pants and part of it, it depends on what kind of mood I'm in during the day. Now let's talk about value for these pieces. Sideshow, they made 1,500 of these. 500 came with this orange shirt, retailed right at 550, plus less than $100 shipping. The skin or custom one retailed at 1,100 plus 500 shipping. So you're three times the price. However, the edition size, they only made 10 of these compared to 1,500. So this is extremely rare and I think that gets a lot of points. Is it worth three times as much? You know, I said this during the review of the Sideshows, the scale of this really kills this guy. If he's a standalone piece, fantastic. But if you put him next to any other Hulks, if you put him next to any one four scale pieces, that significantly hurts this piece. And I think it hurts it with value. While this piece is not worth three times more, the fact that they made one, I can't even do the math on it. They made one 150th of these and the size is much more accurate. I think that needs to be taken into consideration. However, three times more for almost the exact same style of statue is not a hurdle I can overcome under any circumstances. So I think value goes to Sideshow on this piece. Now it comes to the X factor. Neither of these I think are five out of five statues, but which one is better? And we simply don't add up who won more categories and give it to that statue. We take an objective look at the most important things. Now the paint and sculpt on both are done very well. The concepts are done very well. While Sideshow has the favor, in my opinion, on both of those, if you exclude the base, there are some factors with Hulk that cannot be missed. And I think factor number one is the size. 
One of the big things about Hulk is simply his presence, like we talked about, in Sideshow did not execute on one of the number one things for Hulk. So that greatly favors the skins or the custom one. Also, as I said, the Hulk on Sideshow may be superior other than the size, but the base is not, where this one is good on both the base and the Hulk itself. So while I think it's been a close contest, I think the winner of these two statues is this Hulk right here, which ironically, if I was going to sell one, I don't know which one I would sell, simply for the fact that this is much more affordable because sometimes you have to think about money, even when you have too much of it. So let me know in the comments below which one you guys would actually pick if money was not an option or which one you would pick if money was an option. If you haven't yet, hit like on this video, hit subscribe. We drop daily content like this. But I really appreciate you watching. Again, check out some of these other videos till tomorrow.